I'm Professor Konstantin Mile believes that a real discovery has been made in the University of Forthwanen. He is convinced that he has found a source of energy which is able to solve global problems. The technology is called neutrino for the particles of space origin. The high educational institution does not share his point of view on this matter and forbids lectures to students about neutrino energy, but the professor sees every opportunity to share his discovery. For example, during one of the largest regional trade fairs in southern Germany, Südwest Mass in Willingen Schweninen, without prior agreement with the university. Jan Ludwig. About one and a half. Professor Konstantin Meil at the Südwest Mass. His listeners should fasten their seat belts. It is about the speed of light and scalar values. In laboratory conditions is being demonstrated how neutrino particles are being captured to turn on the light. The lamp shines without any wires, of course in the presence of transmitter. Wireless transmission of energy. According to the Constantin Mile, it is possible with neutrino energy. Neutrinos are the tiniest elementary particles of space origin, which permeate almost everything in the universe, and harnessing of their energy for power generation can resolve problems on the planet. The particle has its energy, it also do have mass, this energy is sufficient for needs on our planet. It is confirmed from the physical point of view, there is only one problem that needs to be solved, a technical one. Miles seems to have already found some solutions. Professor is demonstrating a small ship which is moving on the water without any energy sources connected to it. There is no battery, only the motor inside and a small antenna to receive the energy from the air. The neutrino energy. Professor Konstantin Meil is a university lecturer for energy technology in the Faculty of Computer and Electrical Engineering. His colleagues have officially distanced themselves from the professor's speech at such a major event as Zudvest Mess. His report was not coordinated with the university's leadership. The theory is not yet sufficiently substantiated from a scientific point of view. For this reason, it is forbidden to lecture on it. It is just a theory, so we have to be extremely careful with the subjects we are teaching our students. Only recognized scientific concepts are allowed. From my point of view, it is very disappointing that the university withdraws in practice and says that it doesn't want to have anything to do with this technology. The university receives funding from taxpayers and is expected that the higher education institutions take care of researchers. Who else, if not they? Industry deals with what can subsequently be sold on the market, but scientific bases and researchers are needed for production. Universities exist to ensure them. Or an exhibition like Zudwest Mess offers a possibility to present the theory to the general public. So now the energy of neutrinos is a serious scientific study or esotericism? It is experimentally confirmed. It has nothing to do with esotericism. It is about facts which can be proved by experiments. I have just heard that quackery and engineering don't differ greatly from each other. Charlatans could present themselves as geniuses and geniuses as charlatans, but this fact doesn't stop me, and I'm interested in all these theories. Many researchers have been working on their theories and concepts for years, and then someone appears who can say that everything is not as quiet as everyone thinks. Conflict with colleagues and his university does not bother the professor. He is confident about the future for his concept of energy delivered from space. How one wise person once said, our heads are round so our thoughts can change direction.